Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel and see what we have today for the video. So these polishes are from Zudio and this is the first time I'm trying Zudio polishes and it's been a long time since I purchased regular polishes and I can't wait to show you how these polishes work. So let's begin the video and start subscribing. Okay, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, let's begin the video. As you have seen in the beginning, I have 5 polishes and a white polish for the swatching. These polishes are retailed at 70 rupees and it's a good deal because the polishes are really nice. And one thing I noticed is that uh, these polishes are extremely similar to the Studio West polishes, the one that you get in the West side shops. And consistency, the bottle look, everything was like so close to Studio West. Uh, uh, but I think Studio West polishes are a little expensive than the Studio ones. So anyways, uh, these are the polishes. Now let's do a quick swatch. So the first one is called Sage and the GR04 is the number if you wanted to buy any particular color from the five that I have. Um, so uh, as you can see, the polishes are like really nice and I'm going to swatch it on a swatch stick. Um, application super easy and very nicely it levels up and it has a good op opacity but i recommend you to apply at least uh, two coats uh, but with one coat also it was giving like a good opacity and now the second shade uh, is the light yellow pastel yellow color and the shade name is uh, butter buttercup and c04 is the uh, shade name so the reason i am um, calling out the shade name is because if you wanted to buy any particular color that i'm showing then you can just uh, look for this number or the shade name again um good application easy to apply and uh, another thing these polishes dry within like 15 20 minutes okay and just make sure you are applying thinner coat so it dries faster and if you apply like too much uh, polish in one layer uh, in the uh, individual layers then obviously it will take so much time so uh, make sure you're applying thinner layers so this is the magenta pink color that um, beautiful pink beautiful pink this is another favorite color of mine skyline uh, the this blue is so beautiful uh, this is the color that I have right now on my fingers uh, I don't think I have the clip but this is the color I use and I really love this color and then next is uh, this um, uh, tropical color and this is like a kind of a olive green color you can say uh, again application uh, smooth opacity obviously you need two layers for this particular color so here is the whole swatch list as you can see they all look like really beautiful colors and now it's time for us to try the water marbling first we need a white base so i apply the white color from the collection and as you can see they are pigment opaque in two coats and after applying the white polish i started applying a liquid latex around my cuticle area so that uh, later the cleaning part is so easy for us but otherwise it you will be like spending so much time cleaning your fingertips and uh, i'm also going to explain some of the tips that you can follow when you're doing uh, a water marbling first always buy polishes from the same brand make sure the consistency is like really loose consistency if your polishes are thick then it won't work third your water should be in room temperature don't take cold or hot water room temperature if you are using a fan or AC then turn it off before you start with the water marbling and keep a tissue uh, with you and uh, take a water marbling tool a few more things uh, when you're going to do the water marbling just make sure that all the nail polish bottles are open and ready to go so um, just remember when you're putting the drop into the water the polish is going to spread across right and these polishes are air dry so if you leave too much time in between the layers it's going to dry up and then you don't get that uh, you know spreading effect and another thing any one polish from the colors that you have uh, selected for the water marbling if any one of that is not spreading then drop that color and take another one so you have to do like a little trial and error but mostly uh, it should work like this and if it's not working then the consistency might be like thicker or maybe uh, your room temperature is like colder uh, so then it may not work but um, with the studio polishes as you can see they work really well so if 
if you are visiting that uh, shop uh, it's almost everywhere so if you're visiting then you can pick up whatever colors you like and if you love doing water marbling and if you're trying and you can't do it you're not getting it right then this is the polish that you can try with because i wanted to try it after a long time i'm trying a regular polish nail art here so you can try that now if you see i add a lot of colors and we have so many rings and now the rings are like literally tiny it's no longer spreading so i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to use my water marbling tool so now the tool that i'm using it's not like a actual water marbling tool but i'm using a dotting tool with like a tiny long type uh, tip okay you can use a toothpick also if you have uh, first I'm going to start from one uh, from the center to the outside you can create so many different designs but this is one of my go-to designs I lo love the way those petal type designs comes up so now I'm starting to draw the petals when you're doing this see I'm starting not starting from the end layer okay because that layer is almost kind of dried so don't go all the way there you will spoil the whole thing so it start from the third or fourth layer from the last layer like this the one that i'm showing on the screen and keep on drawing drawing and then when you're drawing each line make sure you're wiping your tool on the tissue after every swipe okay when you are swiping it the tool uh, the polish gets onto the tool and if you keep on doing that then uh, you don't get a clean effect so keep wiping your tool after every swipe and once you are satisfied the uh, with the design that you drew on the water then on a slight angle so you don't go like literally flat on a slight angle you can dip and then just remove the excess using a q-tip one last thing when you're dipping your finger don't go close to the center side because there the polish is much thicker so you don't get a clean effect so always uh, dip your finger away from the center but on the design okay so this is the first one and i'm going to do the rest of the fingers offline and then i'll show you the whole thing okay i'm done with all the fingers and as you can see the first thing, uh, finger the pink was like uh, overshadowing other colors so i adjusted the colors and then did the rest of the fingers and once you are done then you can just peel off the uh, peel off uh, like liquid latex that you applied around the uh, cuticle area before that just make sure you are separating it uh, from the nails just like this and then you can just remove the peel off and clean it up lastly you can apply a top coat and seal your design and this is how the nails look like after cleaning up um, and the top coat and a little bit of cuticle oil around the cuticles and i totally love the way they turned out and without putting so much efforts i was able to do water marble like, like a, in a jiffy <laughs> to be frank so that's how we did the water marbling using studio nail polishes if you like this video uh, like share comment all those good things and uh, this video is not sponsored i purchased it uh, so if you want to see uh, more swatch videos like this or any tip and tips and tricks videos uh, on regular nail art and nail polishes do, do let me know and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching Bye bye